Hello friends, once again I welcome you to the journey of Six Sigma and uh, I hope you are enjoying this journey and learning the various concepts taught in the uh, various lectures. The last lecture was very important and if you just recall then we have discussed many important concepts. What is the difference between 3 sigma and 6 sigma? What does it mean when I say that the process means get shifted from the present position to another position by 1.5 sigma and even if there is a shift of 1.5 sigma, if my processes are con uh, controlled under 6 sigma then I would be producing only 3.4 parts per million as defective. We have also seen the concept of hidden factory and to appreciate the concept of hidden factory, we have seen the concepts like FPY first pass yield and RTY roll throughput yield and how we waste our resources in terms of manpower, inventory, space, capacity when we have lot of scrap, rejection and rework within the system. So, uh, this were uh, some of the important points we have discussed. Now, this particular lecture 6 will help you to appreciate some of the applications of Six Sigma in Indian organizations. So, many Indian organizations they have successfully implemented Six Sigma in their various processes. It is not possible to discuss uh, all the uh, Six Sigma implementations, but just to motivate you, I will discuss few and we will try to see that in what way Six Sigma has really benefited the companies. So, basically uh, this uh, particular lecture 6 will uh, focus on what are the Indian organizations doing Six Sigma. Uh, if you know what are the organizations, then you can visit them, you can search the details on net or you can interact with their executives and you can also see that what kind of best practices they are following or in what way they have implemented the Six Sigma. Then what are the typical processes where Six Sigma is applied in various Indian organizations? What are the typical challenges faced by them and what are the benefits Six Sigma have extended to these Indian organizations. So, here is the list of Indian organizations doing Six Sigma in the various processes. So, you can just see it is a representative list. There could be many more company, but these are well known organizations, reputed organizations Tata Steel, Tisco, Taj Hotel Service Industry, Cummins India Limited, Tata Consultancy Services, IT sector. Tata Motors, Automobile, John Deere, Mahindra and Mahindra, Gabriel Motors, Nashik, Wipro, Telco, LNT, TVS, Suzuki, Pedalite Industry, LG, Whirlpool, Asian Paints. So, you can see that the spectrum is large manufacturing, automobile, service sector, paint industry, chemical industry. So, uh, uh, the Six Sigma and its benefits are not only restricted to one industry segment, but you can see that successfully the industry operating in different different uh, industry segment they have realized the benefits of Six Sigma. Now, we will just discuss the Six Sigma application in some of the organizations. Let us say organization 1 Larson and Tubro and one of the process where they have successfully implemented Six Sigma is testing service level improvement. So, the background we all know uh, about the LNT, but LNT is one of the largest and most respected companies in India's private sector with over 75 years of strong customer focused approach and continuous quest for world class quality. LNT is a highly diversified organization. Uh, LND has unmatched capabilities across technology, engineering, construction, manufacturing, and basically they maintain the leadership in all the major lines of business. So, challenge the faced by the organization. So, LND undertakes non destructive testing for the welded seams, typically, an example of manufacturing, and 
welded seam and joints and its fabricated products which had to be focused on for reducing the total manufacturing time. So, here critical to quality is reducing manufacturing time by focusing on one of the process that is your uh, welded seam and joints. Six Sigma team basically was formed to standardize the process and reduce delays. The goal was to achieve 80 percent of the service requests received within 48 hours and 95 percent of the request within 72 hours. Tools such as high level process mapping, customer output process input supplier, copies or CPOC sometimes it is called and voice of customer. These are basically used to identify the first important thing that is CTQ critical to quality. So, vital CTQs were prioritized through Pareto diagram. We will uh, look into these various tools uh, in the subsequent lectures, but Pareto diagram helps you to reduce your search. It is a selective control kind of mechanism and it says that 20 percent of the problem they create maximum impact and if you focus on this then automatically system improvement is possible. So, brainstorming was conducted and based on cause and effect a series of direct improvement actions were implemented. Now, the resulting benefits uh, were increase in sigma level by factor of 2.5. So, reduction in project cycle time by 7 to 15 days per project it is a very very significant achievement and if you see because usually we always get uh, impressed when the improvement is presented in terms of money. So, overall increase in sales by rupees 600 crore you just see 2.5 sigma level increase has led to rupees 600 crore additional sales. In expansion in capacity L and D has included the IMC, RB and QA criteria and as part of its quality management system. So, this is a small uh, journey of l and in one of the process organization to sterlite industries and here they wanted to implement Six Sigma for cycle time reduction of sandwich credit development. So, just see what it is. So, sterlite copper basically represents the copper business of Vedanta limited. The copper business of Vedanta Limited, uh, Sterlite Copper is well positioned in the key core sector industries and has a strong track record of performance in terms of quality and timely delivery. Now, just see what are the challenges faced by these organizations. Sterlite industry, it is a leading cooperation in copper and typically they were facing an accumulation of working capital in the form of sandwet owing to the cycle time taken between goods received, consumed and credit availed. So, now you will see that this is typically say a problem pertaining to the transactional area, accounting area. L and D we have seen the implementation of Six Sigma for a manufacturing process. Here I am just exposing you to the application of Six Sigma for a transactional process, accounting process. So, it urgently needed to significantly reduce the sandwich development cycle time from the current 58 days. So, uh, you all know that sandwich means central value added tax and typically sandwich credit is a credit in respect of central excise on inputs purchased for the manufacture or duty paid in relation to the manufacture of the final product. So, Typically, uh, they also begin with brainstorming session, fish bond diagram to see the cause and effect, data gathering, Pareto chart and such kind of basic tools they have applied. YY analysis 26 identified as few root causes. So, YY analysis is a very very effective methodology to dig out and identify that what could be the root cause. You keep asking this why, why, why this has happened and then you can really uh, identify that what are the root causes. So, a feasible feasibility and cost analysis has helped to select the solutions. 
and consequently SEP R3 system and SOPs were implemented along with the corresponding training. So, fine they exactly figured out that what area needs to be addressed in order to reduce their cycle time and they implemented SEP R3 to meet their requirement and the benefits were significant. So, the tangible benefit included reduction in working capital by 8.4 crore annually. So, you just see that uh, if I just go back then it was 58 days of cycle and this is what they wanted to reduce and this reduction in cycle led to the benefits let us say Eight point four crore annually. So, intangible benefits included training of the team members in the structured Juran on quality improvement methodology. This has enhanced their learning capacity, teamwork amongst the various departments, increased the confidence and attitude of the employees. So, typically, uh, this has resulted into quite a paperless office and person independent office system. So, when you undertake the improvement definitely you realize the tangible benefit, but simultaneously you can also see that there are many benefits you receive as a byproduct, which in turn benefits many other processes. Let us see another well known organization 3 that is Maruti Suzuki India Limited typically called as MSIL. Uh, it is a very well known old organization and formerly it was known as Maruti Udyog Limited automobile manufacturer in India and 56.21 percent owned subsidiary of the Japanese car and motorcycle manufacturer Suzuki Motor Corporation. Here they have integrated Lean and Six Sigma and uh, they applied this particular uh, say approach for improving the value in their supply chain. So, four main activities training, audit, implementation and upgradation typically of smaller vendor who supply to this tier 1 supplier. So, that the quality is maintained. If you see the automobile company nowadays, then they have gone for uh, totally modularization approach and typically their tier 1 supplier mainly supply the modules kits and these kits are prepared at supplier 1, tire 1 supplier by based on the part supplied by the various small small vendors. So, this way automobile company they go for the supplier based reduction, so that they have to maintain the check at few points, but simultaneously if your modular component is not quality uh, proven then you will find lot of issues in the performance of the vehicle. So, they wanted to implement certain things and training and improvement of the skills. So, based on some basic requirement MSIL Maruti decides on certain topics and train both blue collared as well as white collared employees. So, operators, workers, managers all were trained at the vendor uh, organization. So, then the team audits which quality seems uh, are to be followed in every operation and for every operation there is a prescribed way of doing something like standard operating procedure uh, and quality standard to be achieved. So, it is the implementation of lean manufacturing and subsequently total quality management and other concepts that has helped the Maruti to drastically reduce the defect and wastages at the end of smaller vendors. So, if you see the tangible benefits received through this Six Sigma and Lean, then company through implementing this Lean manufacturing system has 7 and 720 projects completed so far for productivity improvement, quality, inventory control and many other say uh, benefits. So, Maruti Suzuki Center for Excellence, they have uh, say worked hard on these uh, parameters and they worked with 146 tier 2 vendors for overall improvement in performance. Typically, you will be surprised to know 
that resulting in reduction in rejection from 10,933 to 1,180. So, just 1,180 is the final uh, defect uh, or rejection that they could uh, achieve and, uh, and defect reduction from 432 to 146 per month. So, you can just see that how much significant advantage they have received by implementing lean and six sigma and MSE program also aims at achieving zero defect and has been successful. So, this is the small story about uh, implementation of six sigma and lean practices at uh, uh, say Maruti. Now, when they launch such kind of training programs, improvement programs, vendors they could achieve the better capability better performance in terms of quality delivery and many other things and now got zero rejection in its part. So, this is the excellent achievement vendors have achieved and when you talk about the supply chain or value chain improvement cost reduction quality improvement anywhere will ultimately benefit the final product and the customer. So, MSE now has become part of quality council of India in such a uh, excellent manner they executed that it has become part of quality council of India and tied up with Kaizen institute India in Ahmedabad. So, this is uh, the uh, success story of Maruti. Now, let us see organization 4 that is Tata Motors. So, Tata Motor is uh, well known for implementing various continuous improvement programs since last 30 to 40 years and they have really established benchmark performance in many many areas. So, Tata Motors Limited say USD 45 billion organization is a leading automobile manufacturer with portfolio that includes cars, utility vehicles, trucks, buses, defense. So, all sorts of vehicles and uh, uh, our mark can be found they say that on and off road in over 175 countries around the globe. So, this is what uh, Tata Motors they take pride in having the presence across the globe and it is the India's largest and the only original equipment manufacturer offering extensive range of integrated smart and e-mobility solutions. So, now let us see that uh, what they have realized through Six Sigma. So, the quality improvement project at Tata Engineering operates under the umbrella of Tata business excellence model. So, like Maruti established their excellence model similar way Tata they have put all such so, so all such kind of continuous improvement practices under the umbrella of Tata excellence model business excellence model. It is an open ended framework and which includes Six Sigma as one of the strategy. So, engineering set up a strong Six Sigma organization and established a robust audit monitoring mechanism to ensure that targets are met and sustained. So, here large number of teams were put in place to implement the project. There was one at the apex level to oversee the overall implementation and other at the company level, shop floor level, plant level in Jamshedpur, Pune, Lucknow and a filtering process procedure was created to identify and isolate problems. So, firstly the CTQ features at the aggregate level may be body, engine, paint, gearbox, axle were considered and then that could be subdivided into further CTQs. So, typically uh, I just explained here that Tata Motors fascination about continuous improvement and Six Sigma and how they try to deploy implement the Six Sigma. So, the improvement process followed skill enhancement, process mapping, cause and effect analysis, failure mode effect analysis FMEA and basically this helps them to anticipate the problems timely and put the preemptive efforts in solving the problems. So, with this uh, say discussion of uh, couple of organizations implementing Six Sigma in India and who have, uh, who have realized 
the significant benefits in terms of quality profitability reduction in cycle time i just want to pose uh, before i end couple of questions for thinking so what do you think as the most critical challenge in adoption and implementation of six sigma in indian organizations how does the six sigma benefit the company and the customers how does the six sigma benefit the employee see remember that company is benefited customers are benefited but i have internal customers they are my employee and when they live in a in an environment where quality persist where the best practices are implemented in turn it also leads to say day by day improvement in their attitude way of thinking and also standard of living so can you develop finally a generic checklist for indian organizations for adopting six sigma for various processes and specifically how should they decide about the priority six sigma project in the organization i am just posing here quite open ended questions for thinking so that you participate and you take better interest in the upcoming lectures uh, you can refer couple of links from where some literature i have referred and you will find many more such applications of six sigma in various indian organizations so you can refer this and uh, better uh, understand the importance of six sigma so the final remark of this lecture 6 is that implementation of six sigma basically helps to improve the company performance it helps the organization to eliminate errors and improve the business processes and sustain quality improvement so with this uh, note i thank you very much for your interest and patience in learning six sigma course we will once again discuss new issue important issue in our journey of six sigma i would request you to revise and introspect internalize the various concepts if possible interact with the industry and also try to see that the concepts delivered through this lecture series you can really visualize and see in the actual practices of the company so uh thank you very much and be with me